Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we'll be talking about the six foundational pillars for the Microsoft Zero Trust model in greater detail, starting with the most important one. So, Identities verifies and secures each identity with strong authentication across your entire digital estate. For each of these pillars, we're going to talk about some of the related services. I'm not going to describe too much of what they do because we're definitely going to be covering the important ones in this course in great detail, but I want you to get some exposure so you see all these names over and over again. So so the first one is Identity Access and Management, or IAM. The next one is Azure Active Directory, and this one gets a lot of attention due to all its identity and access management capabilities. We have Single Sign-On Multi-Factor Authentication, or MFA, Passwordless Authentication, which is a subset of MFA, Risk-Based Policies, and we have Identity Secure Score, and you'll see a few different types of Secure Score, like Microsoft Secure Score and Compliance Score in this course, so it's something that's very useful throughout Microsoft 360 in Azure. Next, we have endpoints, and it's easy to think of these as devices because their endpoints are used to gain visibility into devices, accessing the network, ensuring compliance and health status before granting access. The endpoint is what grants access for this. For this, we have Azure at D-Device Manager to register our devices with our identity provider. Generally, the controls underneath, which is the mobile device management and mobile application management is managed by Microsoft Intune. And this service is now actually a part of Microsoft Endpoint Manager, and if we want to get protection around our endpoints, then we have Microsoft Defender for endpoint, but we have Defender for a lot of features in Microsoft, and you'll see that soon enough. Then you have DLPs, Data Loss Prevention Policies, so that we do not lose our data so that it does not get disclosed and we can keep our sensitive data protected. So for apps, we have Discover Shadow IT, so ensure appropriate in-app permissions, gate access based on real-time analytics, and monitor control user actions. So for this, we have Policy-Based Access Controls. We can use the Microsoft Cloud App Security, Azure AD Application Proxy, eDiscovery, and we have just-in-time virtual machine access. So onto the last three pillars, we have data. So use intelligence to classify and label data, encrypt and restrict access based on organizational policies. So we move from perimeter-based data protection to data-driven protection. So here we can use sensitivity labels, Microsoft Information Protection, Data Classification, Azure Information Protection Scanner. So AIP scan Scanner does decision-based policies and data loss prevention policies. All of this stuff listed in the data pillar is in the Microsoft 365 Compliance Center. This is where all this stuff comes into play, which we'll see later on. Next, we have infrastructure. So use telemetry to detect attacks and anomalies, automatically block and flag risk behaviors, and employ at least privilege access principles. So here we can use the Azure Security Center, Azure AD Managed Identities, User and Resource Segmentation, VNets, Tearing Rules, Privileged identity management, network security groups, application security groups, Azure Firewall, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, Microsoft Defender for Identity, and Azure Sentinel. These last three we'll be talking about in greater detail. The last pillar here is network. So ensure devices and users are not trusted just because they're on an internal network. Encrypt all internal communications, limit access by policy, and employ micro-segmentation and real-time threat detection. So here we can do network segmentation, Azure DD OS Protection Service, Azure Firewall, Azure Web Application Firewall, also known as WAF, Azure VPN, Azure Ad Proxy, Azure Bastion, and SSL TLS. So that's the Zero Trust model, six foundational pillars and some of the related services that are associated with each pillar. 